You feel better? Yeah. Did you poop in your bed? No. Did you puke in your bed? Did you puke in your bed? No. Good job. <laughs> Made me nervous for a second. I love you. I love them too. You're so cute. Yesterday afternoon went so much better than yesterday morning. No pooping, no puking, no nothing. So I've got a ton of stuff to do today. We are gonna go pay off our car. And other than that, I've got some errands to do today. I'll try to take you along for everything. But yeah, let's get the day rolling. I'm in this, but needed some coffee. I remember you. You were full of broken bones. I tried to bring you cigarettes You said just leave me alone I remember you You were locked in a padded room I tried to teach you solitaire You just hollered at the moon I remember the espresso and the coffee because at 3.33, Winter decided she had to go to the bathroom and it was insistent that I get up and she took almost 20 minutes 20 minutes so by that time I was already awake there was no going back to sleep so I've been been watching YouTube videos that I needed to get ca caught up on I was about to say get catched up on you can tell I'm tired but that's why the espresso because my dog had to poop bring that rain outside and I came out here in the barn okay I'm feeding everybody now yesterday I don't know why but I was looking at her and I kind of got a feeling like treasure was thinking about going broody now i've never experienced a broody hen and i have no experience in it but i don't know just something about her she was just giving me signs like i felt like she was going to try to go broody and i have seen where people will put quail eggs under like little baby chickens and i thought let's see so i took and put 11, 11 or 12, I don't think I got an actual count, maybe 11 or 12, 12, something like that. I think it's 11. 11 quail eggs on the nest, just left it. Nothing, nothing big. I took the fake, the fake eggs out um, and put the, took the fake, or the, the regular chicken eggs out. And then I put the quail eggs in here. So I come out this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I was right. She's sitting on eggs. So I'm hoping and praying we're gonna try our hardest to not disturb her whatsoever. And we're gonna see if she'll hatch out. I mean, if she doesn't, I mean, I've lost what? 11 eggs, who cares? They'll lay that in one day. So we're gonna see if she will hatch out and successfully raise baby quail. Yet another experiment. I did a quick check of, uh, of the babies and I didn't film it because I was just trying to hurry because mama seems, for whatever reason, I guess it's because litter number two and she kind of knows what to expect. She's a little less, um, she's a little less okay with me messing around in the nest too long. So I literally try to get in, do a quick baby head count, make sure everybody's okay, shut the nest, walk away, leave them alone. Um, I may actually stop doing that over the next day or two. Everybody's fine. Everybody's healthy. And I'm going to wait till they're a little bit bigger before I start messing with them again. So it might be a little bit before I show you the babies up close again, but... They are doing good. They look like they're just about ready to pop them eyes open. Hey, we're ready to start our day. You ready, guys? Yeah. We got a lot of running to do. A lot of things to get. A lot of places to go. Then we had to come back. And I guess I need to cook dinner. I don't wanna, but I gotta. I don't know. We might order pizza, but I'm so sick of pizza. While I was sick, we ordered pizza several times. I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. So, we'll see. We'll see. Can we open it? Yeah, but I don't know. I think he's really ugly. And we got to consider the fact that they're going to be outside. I got peanut dirt. I That's why I'm questioning about my material because my material has a lot of white in it. You want something dark. Mm. Because if you get something that has white in it, it's going to be really dingy really quick. This is true. This is true. What about this? Matches the shutters. You hate it? Ding, 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 ding. 
Those are cute. Look how short these shorts are. Like your butt cheeks would have been if you wore that. And we're definitely I guess that's shorts. the point. <laughs> well, if you're young and cute. I'm sorry, even young and cute, your you butt cheeks don't need to be out. We're looking for gardening stuff. These are cute. I got one of these. <laughs> I'm clumsy today. Look how cute this is. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. How cute is that? I got a sign like that for my door. I'm excited. Don't touch anything. Why? It's glass. <laughs> Trinket has been insisting that she gets treats. So that's what we're here for. So this is what I've gotten so far. Got her some crickets and some white harvest a lot. Just some stuff. She's been pitching a fit. You all don't blame me? I mean, you know how, what a diva she can be. She has been wanting some treats, so I got her crickets. I forgave them mealworms before, but I've never given them crickets. I'm sure she'll like it. We've literally been to like every store in the last two counties over. <laughs> um, but the reason why is because I had a lot of stuff that I have been putting off getting. Um, John got paid, so we went to the store. So, in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing outside, so this is my front porch. I have dark green shutters and I actually pulled up on Pinterest to look at palettes that look good with dark green. Like palettes as in color palettes. And it said yellow. So you guys saw that I had spray painted this. So I saw this cute thing on Pinterest. Yes, I'm doing the Pinterest fail probably. But um, it's where these are actually brown but I spray painted them blue and yellow. And what you do is you put a stake in the ground and it looks like they're topsy-turvy. So I'm going to fill them with flowers. So this is what is going to be outside. So with that color scheme, I bought these cute pillows. I got two of them. They're going to sit outside. They're outdoor pillows. So they won't rot. We mom was going to have sew me some. But all the material we seen was like either really expensive if it could be outside or like really shady. So I decided not to do that. And then I found something that made me really excited. Because I found a tablecloth with roosters on it. So I got a rooster tablecloth. I'm trying to remember what all else I got. A lot of stuff. Oh, I got this. I told I showed you the sign, but I got a big one. I'm gonna hang this on my door because it's really cute. And it's yellow and got blue and green in it, just like the color scheme outside. So I'm super excited about that. And then so you guys have seen my outside area the Finston area and I have like a pallet gate. So I was like, that's gonna be where my garden's at. And I seen this and could not let it go. So I'm actually gonna hang this up. Um, it's got a little string on it, but I'm gonna hang this up on the pallet gate. So as you walk in, this is what you'll see. I don't know why, I was just in a decorating mood today when I went to the store. Oh, and I found these and I got excited about that too. Brewsters. See, she might want to tell me I can't have chickens outside, but she can't do nothing about it in my house. So, that is basically what I got. I got some workout pants because I'm going to start going to the gym. They were really cute, too, and they were on sale. They were on clearance. Five dollars. And it's hard to find workout pants when you have a big butt. And I have a big butt. So, now we're going to go outside, take Tink Tink her treats, and shut the barn down for the night. To the barn. Because this is what all the cool... Excuse me. This is what all the cool hip people wear. Oh yeah. Not just socks and sandals. Hot pink socks and sandals. Oh yeah. I said I wasn't going to show you, but I'm not going to disturb them. But I just wanted to show you real close up. Look at his little back leg. Look how cute is that? Oh my god, I'm dying. Look how freaking cute. His little foot, I gotta, oh I want to touch his butt. Oh my god. Yeah, I've got pain on my hand. Honestly, Sam, I'm not really sure what made me think she might go broody. I don't know. It was just like a feeling I had when I was out here watching her. I don't know. I just had this feeling, but she's saying it's sitting on eggs. So we're going to let her do that. If she hatches out quail, y'all, I'm going to like freak out. I'm going to be so freaking excited. Oh, that'll be so neat. Oh, I got that hen delight, which is like... Let's see. Yeah, I know it's got like a bunch of stuff in it. Um, whole grains, peanuts, raisins, tomatoes, carrots, sunflower seeds, flax seeds. So this is like a treat. So what I do, 
what I'm going to do from now on is they keep their little feeder full of their feed. But because they can't go outside and peck and forage and scrounge, I'm going to buy them mealworms and crickets. And I bring greens in here. Um, and, of course, I'm going to bring them chicken scratch, scraps. Kitchen scraps kitchen scraps <laughs> and then I'm going to take that you know that treat and if you look very closely I have it sprinkled slightly on the ground so that it gives them the ability to peck and forage and scratch around gives them something to do so that's what I'm doing with it okay so that's gonna be the end of the vlog I'm gonna go in the house and feed my little people check out my fingers I got them yellow because I touched the bench when I moved it and I don't know why I touched it because I knew it was wet because I'm a goober. So that's the end of that. Love you guys. Make sure you check out all the social media links down below. You can Snapchat me, talk to me on Facebook. I love interacting with you guys. It's so fun. Love you till tomorrow. Love you. See you later. Bye.